Hey, my name is Ryan Earnhardt from creativesoundlab.tv, where audio recording is an art form. And today is really the finale of the kind of mini-series on polar patterns. And uh, today is really the most obvious episode. It's what everybody kind of expects out of polar patterns. I've covered some kind of interesting points so far. Maybe you haven't thought of those. I've covered how to adjust the proximity effect, which is the low end, using polar patterns. Um, I've covered it on, obviously, guitar amps. And then uh, last video, I covered how a polar pattern affects the high end, where you have the mic out several feet. Today, we're gonna be really um, covering the most obvious thing, and that's how it picks up sound in the room. So it's less about tonalities, more about how it's picking up sound in the room today. So what we're gonna be doing is backing this mic up, and I'll be showing kind of three ways that we can go about setting up a room mic with the polar patterns. Uh, the first uh, demo will be uh, omnidirectional, um, and that'll be uh, four or five feet out, and that picks up sound from all over. Uh, and then the next example will be cardioid, and the cardioid, instead of being faced right at the amp, will be faced right to the back of the room. And in theory, the null of the cardioid will pick up everything but what's right behind it, which is the guitar amp, so 100% room. Uh, and then our final example will be uh, figure of eight, and that will be with the, uh, the front of the mic pointed this way, the back of the mic pointed that way, and then out to the sides of the microphone will be kind of going like this. So that means that the knoll of the mic will be pointed right at the amp. So we're essentially recording that wall and the amp wall, and that's also a really cool way to get a lot of room sound at just about any distance. You can be close, you can be far. Uh, it worked really well today in this experiment. Um, let's check out these examples. I think they're really cool. I'd love to hear your comments and your questions below. I'll be talking to you in the comments.